Hi, I'm Rosa. Thanks for joining me. Today I'm going to do a day in the life, but I'm starting this day in the life at 5.30 in the evening. And my crew is just coming in. We're finishing the day out. So it's the end of the day. We are done working. And um, let's see what we do next. It's Tuesday. It seems like every day is a long day. But we are working four days this week. Um, because of the time of year, we're enjoying Fridays off. And I love it. I love it when Thursday falls on a Friday. So it's worth the extra work. Oh, no, and I'm going to get to work on getting some dinner and a few things done in the Just house. the dishwasher, and I need to get some dishes in there and um, wash a few things, including the bottles that I use to make my husband's juice every morning. Dinner tonight's going to be a leftover pizza and cheese and crackers. The pizza is in the little toaster oven and I'm going to cut up some cheese. Our unconventional snacky dinner. We're having leftover pizza, cheese and crackers, some carrots, that's some um, olive oil and garlic, roasted garlic. So we'll add some more if we're still hungry. It's about 6.45, we are done with dinner and I'm getting ready for the work day ahead tomorrow. So I filled my water bottle, my son's water bottle because he's going to help me a little bit in the morning, do some things and an extra water bottle to take. And I also have a load of laundry going and I usually run a load every day, every other day. Uh, the dishes are done and the kitchen's cleaned up and um, that's what's going on right now. It's about a quarter after seven and I've taken the laundry out of the washing machine. I've hung it up because I usually don't run the dryer that often. I, I am one of those odd people that enjoy doing laundry. So that's hung up and in, tomorrow it'll be dry. I am going to run my floor vacuums and take a shower and go to bed. And I know some people may think it's early, but I go to bed early and I wake up early. I do what I call front load my day. I get as much done in the morning as I can. Uh, one more thing that I did um, this evening was prep things for work tomorrow. She'll do her job. I have two of these that I seriously love. And I run them at night after the dogs and we have gone to bed. It's 6.45 the next morning. I'm running a little bit late. I'm going to get the juicer going and make juice for my husband for today. for today 80 ounces 
about 10 till 7. The dogs are fed, the juice is made, and I need to rush out of here. It's now about 8.30. I'm on the road, headed south. Traffic's been good today. It hasn't been any slowdowns or anything, which is amazing. It usually, there's usually something going on. But we're working about an hour south of where we live and um, we'll be spending all day down here and I'm just giving you an update on um, how my day's going, um, a day in the life. <laughs> as I'm driving, I'm going to tell you about traffic. Um, we live in South Florida, as I've said before, and traffic here is, it can get congested not anything like a really big city but it can it, it can get congested and more so in the winter months what we call season and it's because so many people have seasonal homes here they'll come spend the winters in South Florida to get away from the cold so we get a huge influx of population in the winter months so from right around November through Easter. So really it's it's more or less Thanksgiving to Easter. We have in a, our population is, I don't know if it's double, but it's significantly more. And these people, um, I mean, I don't blame them. It, the weather's nice. It could be in the 80s every day. Um, we are the sunshine state. We have over 300 days of sunshine a year, but um, the stores become more congested, parking becomes more congested. Um, if, unless you have a reservation, at most restaurants you're going to wait. And um, that's what happens in season. Now in the summertime, um, we still are busy, but not, not like it is in the winter time. So, um, just getting around to different jobs in the winter time um, could be challenging because not only are there more cars, but there's more people having accidents and um, probably driving the way they shouldn't be. But um, it's the price we pay for living here. Making a Starbucks run. It's now 10 a.m. I've, as you saw, been to Starbucks got a treat and met with a manager, went over some work with my crew and, and now they're working. You can probably hear them in the background. I am going to probably do a little bit of paperwork in my car and um, just hang on in the job site for a while. One hour and one banana later, um, I had another meeting, looked at some more stuff and, and having a banana. So. It's 11. We'll see what the rest of the day brings. Here's a glimpse of what we do. We trim trees commercially. We came down a Boca to grab lunch and we're waiting for a tape. And it's 2.45. I made it home early. I had to run some errands and I still have to go back out, but it's good to be home for a few minutes and do some office work. And I didn't show you my lunch. I was too hungry and didn't think about it. I should have. It's a um, steak salad. This is what's left over and I'm actually going to have a couple more bites because it was delicious. It's a beautiful afternoon. There's my girl Stella. Hey, sweet girl.
You go, girly. Here's my boy Dash. Little good boy Dash, yes. And Violet is somewhere out here. Violet! You gonna sunbathe a little bit, Dash? Yeah, feels good. Oh, you sweet girly. You're a sweet girl. Sweet girl. It's beautiful and sunny, and I have a few minutes before I go back to do some more work and go into town. So I thought I'd explain a few things for you that you would have seen in my video this today. So one of the things is the juice that I make my husband in the morning. Uh, my husband was diagnosed with bladder cancer um, this past summer, and he had surgery to remove a four centimeter tumor in uh, August. And so um, the doctors had recommended that he have uh, a bladder removal and intense chemo. And after much thought and prayer, he decided against it and decided to radically change his um, nutrition and do all the other non-conventional therapies that we could find and afford. And among those was juicing. So um, I, ever since July, I've been juicing for him every morning. I make 80 ounces worth of juice and he drinks it throughout the day. He tries to drink eight ounces an hour um, until he's out of juice. And uh, one of those reasons is um, why will you drink it throughout the day instead of one time is so that you keep the nutrition high in your body. You wanna build your immune system up and keep the nutrition um, high so that your body uses that nutrition and that's why he juices so i make those juices every morning put them in eight ounce um, glass jars and he puts them in a cooler and drinks them throughout the day so that's why you saw me juicing today and that's that's what i do every day um and, and it's quite a feat it's it's can be as high as 12 pounds of carrots a day some some days it's a little less um, we use several green apples, ginger, if I have um, cucumber. I, it, the first one I also have been making lately is a glass of celery juice. So, um, and sometimes I throw in whatever berries I have that I don't want going to waste that are still good. I'll throw them in the juice and make them a juice with that. Um, but that's what the juicing is. And once, once I'm done, I wash the juicer uh, because you can't let that stuff sit. It just clogs the juicer up. And then the next day I do it all over again. <laughs> and then the other thing that you might've noticed is um, when I pet our dog, Violet, the black dog, you notice that she cowers and um, we love her so much. She is a rescue dog that we've had for about a year and a half. And the rescue told us that she came from a hoarding house. So we've noticed that she cowers when people go to pet her um, she's very fierce, so she's very protective of us. So she's she also um, doesn't warm up to you very quickly. And um, we believe that she was most likely beaten or she wouldn't cower the way she does. But she's coming around and doing less of it. So when you see her, when I'm petting her, and you see her cower, uh, that's why. And we hope that with time, she will stop doing that um, because she's she's a wonderful dog and she's much loved. Hi, it's about 5.30, we've come full circle now. It's it's getting to be the end of my day. I'm going to do my nightly things, get ready for dinner, um, get ready to do all the things that need to be done before tomorrow, and it's a wrap. So thanks for joining me. I hope you enjoy this day in the life, and I appreciate you coming along with me. See you in the next one.